you're excited for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and Adventure Quest, this is the video for you. Let's get right into it. This was tweeted out yesterday, and this is like a preface for the rest of this video. That's the correct word. Uh, the team and I are still going through all of your suggestions. We've got a ton of original gear coming for Black Friday and hosts of Black Friday variants of your favorite existing items. Keep an eye on Twitter for design notes as previews start to roll out. Previews have rolled out, um, but I don't think for everything, not yet. Uh, we've seen lays, but not Krulongs yet, so you could expect more items in next week's news video, most likely, or if you keep up on Twitter, on Twitter throughout the next week. Uh, the first thing we got was a Cyber Monday item from Lay here. It's an animated uh, navel. So it's not just a recolor, there is animation involved. Saying it's just another naval commander recolor kind of puts it down a little bit, because I don't know if this animation already existed, if he took it from somewhere, if he made it from scratch. But uh, yeah, it's very cool. And I'm a big fan of this naval, probably one of the best navels I've seen in quite a while since Talk Like a Pirate Day this year. But to be fair, we did have a good year for Nables this Talk of the Pirate Day. So this is a fully color custom, or not fully, I don't think the black is CC, but uh, all of the green you see on this is color custom. So that's really nice. All right, here's a preview of the cape animation, I guess. You can see the background, that looks sick. That's definitely picking that up. Uh, the armor itself and the color changes on the armor. Now it's not RGB, although he did say in a comment down below here somewhere, he would consider RGB for the future on a different item, maybe next year. But uh, you can see the different colors there on the armor and how the colors affect it. So very cool armor. Definitely going to be a pickup for a lot of players. A sneak peek at some of the Cyber Monday gear. Now this armor is green only, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, like 80%. The uh, staff there, that on the left, is color custom. Same with the middle blade. The Doom Blade, that thing's color custom too. The cape on the right is rare. Uh, you can't get it in the event unless you have, or I guess you gotta pay for it and also have the, I don't know if they're giving it away for free. I don't really know what they're doing with this, the Guardian Shadow Cape, but it says right here, uh, Cyber Monday will be available for all players, but the uh, Cyber Monday Cyber Guardian Shadow Cape will only be available if you have the original Shadow Guardian Shadow Cape. Uh, why? <laughs> I, I guess to sell Wheel of Doom items, perhaps. I can't think of another reason why you would bring back a recolor of a rare item and then only give it to the people that have the rare item. They already have it. Why do they need a recolor? Uh, or like a, whatever you call that, like a Cyber Monday version of it. I don't really understand the logic behind that, but it's cool if you got the cape, I guess. And I think it is pretty similar to the original, so yeah. Also, if you're wondering why this armor is green, it was made to match this blade that was released a few years back, I think, or maybe longer. I think I have the blade, actually. Might pick up the armor to match it. So that is why it's green. Here's the NSOD, Cyber, with the animation of different colors. So it's not animated different. It's whatever color you pick, but just an animation going through to different colors on the blade that Snover uh, did. So this looks very nice. I hope I can get it. Now, I don't have an SOD. I might get it one day. Uh, I hope it's not like, oh, you need NSOD to get the blade. I hope even if it's not like, even if I can't get the blade, if I can get like a token to get the blade later or something like that, if I ever do in the future, because it would suck to be playing when it comes out, but because I don't have a farming item, I can't get the uh, cosmetic. Yeah, that would suck. So I hopefully, hopefully it's a cosmetic item that you might be able to put the stats on if you have the stats, if you have the original blade, right? Something like that would be cool. I hope it's not locked to just the people that have the do the blade itself. And if AE cares about money, they'll make it so you can buy it by itself. So I hope that's what actually happens. Just showing that the, the spear is color custom and there is the purple-ish pink version of the Cyber Naval. That looks so good. Uh, it looks really nice. I got really excited seeing that. Very good, very good. Very, very nice. So here's all the black and cyber recolors, or whatever you call them, re whatever, uh, whatever you want to call them. But here's all the ones that Lei has done so far. I hope he does more, because uh, if, if I'm being honest with myself, I'm not a big fan of this selection. If I'm, being, I'm not a big fan of any of these. Uh, maybe the middle, this one, maybe that one. Uh, I do like the green armor, that looks sick, but it's green and green is not one of my colors I like. Uh, the bottom right with the cyber, it looks kind of cool, but, uh, eh. 
bottom middle is kind of nice. Uh, bottom left, uh, I have the original of that, and I think it looks a lot better than the gray version. Um, yeah, it's so I'm very so-so about this, and I think a lot of players are, so hopefully we see some more. And uh, we got stuff that Crew Long is recoloring too, I think, coming up, so we might see some more better stuff. Adam, 1A1, with a cyber set of some sort that might be coming out because uh, Alina did mention original gear. We saw original gear from Krulong last week with the cyborg guy. Uh, so I'm guessing that's going to come out and I'm going to guess that this is coming out also because he's making a lot of additions for it and stuff like that. So I'm guessing this will also uh, be released. I do like that hairstyle quite a bit. The armor is reminds me of kind of like Marvel armors to be honest. The, the sword looks really unique. Uh, the pet <laughs> with the with the character riding on it's kind of cool yeah so all, all, all in all i think it's a pretty okay set the wings and stuff look cool i don't know is can you change the orange or is, i think the orange is locked to orange but uh yeah okay. j6 is working on something map artist uh this could be a house potentially although we, we do see a house from another person uh, i suggested a house quite a while ago and i think i think we're gonna see some cyber houses this year Maybe because of my suggestion, maybe not, who knows. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. If th if there's one or two cyber houses, I'll be happy. Well, speaking speaking of cyber houses, uh, Arlette here, look at this interior. Uh, it's kind of exactly what I described and she even, or Arlette, I don't know if it's a guy or girl. Uh, profile picture's female. Um, a ship crashed, please help. So there's even a lore explanation for this. Uh, like the tweet I made uh, suggesting this a while ago, so yeah, really cool, big fan. Even if it's not from my suggestion, I'll still pick this up, and I think it's really nice, really well done. And uh, hopefully, it's got armor customization, a bank item to match it would be nice, uh, armor and hair customization, and a room that only the player that owns the house can go in. Essential, very essential, uh, with a view would be cool. I thought I thought Shadow Slayer quit was out of the game keeps he keeps posting stuff so you know i'll show it it's, it's really nice to see uh, i like the uh the ghillie suit on the mech <laughs> you know shiny metal with a ghillie suit attached makes it a little bit more camo kind of reminds me of the i think this is like the master chief where he takes off the cloak in that one uh, e3 trailer i think that's kind of what this reference is a little bit at least in my mind it does anyway looks really good and we don't see a lot of robot stuff well we do see a decent amount but not too much really cool legion ice set from sign if that's how you say the same uh yeah it looks really nice reminds me kind of game of thronesy kind of uh daedric armor from skyrim <laughs> those two things kind of look similar it, it definitely it is now that i look at it it's 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 daedric armor from Sky, skyrim I'm, I'm blind okay <laughs> we never see robot stuff but uh here's crew long with our, some robot stuff or whatever it is tech stuff probably for cyber monday i would guess uh you got the ew, tentacles coming out of the mask it's okay cool and whatever thing on the head is i don't know but it looks interesting though uh lena with some furbies <laughs> cuteness collaboration character art uh by Th uh Thaitum. Th i'm terrible with names from the ak3d team calling by Mehmet. yeah furbies Yeah, I like this quite a bit actually. Uh, the, the big ass like neat uh, what it, it looks like it ripped him off of like a giant crab or so, not a giant crab. Uh, what am I talking about? I don't know. It looks looks kind of nuts in, in a good way. Really like that female hair, and I just like the whole concept. Is I don't know if it's like based off something, an anime or something. I it looks really sick though. Speaking of weird but cool looking, this uh, was the commission from Zobek. So, uh, that Kuroto made, and I'm, I like it. I like the shading. I like the, uh, I, I don't know what all the hands are doing and why they're like really high saturation red, but yeah, it looks really, really, uh, unique in a good way. Daniel with, uh, more vampire stuff. He, he seems to really love the, loves to do like the Halloween theme. I don't know what to really call it. Halloween themed, like that sort of stuff. He seems to be a pretty big fan of it, and even though uh, October is gone, he's still posting it. Okay. 
Uh, further progress on this work in progress from A ranks. I'm a big fan of this. It looks like a cool monster, hopefully for a quest line in the future. Thyronius with this really, really sick Reaper cape on this awesome looking armor, red and black. Love the colors. Or kind of like a bluish black. I, I don't know. I like I like the color though. And that's ooh, the scythe. Scythes are good. I don't think they work well on AQ characters, but they always look good. That's for sure. If you're a fan of real life items from Artix Entertainment, Artix posted this. They're working on photos for images of the upcoming Hero Mart release of Moglins. Two new armor t-shirts, which you can see on this Instagram if you want, uh, in black and white. I'm not going to show it here because it's, like, it's an Instagram video, which you can't pause. And it's black and white, so you can't even see the color on the shirts. So you can go see that on their Instagram if you want. I'm not even going to link it or anything. It's AE's in its Instagram. Terrible Photoshop decisions intimate. Uh, so yeah, the Moglins thing is, we got, we got some info on that. Uh, the 2020 calendar poster is a good confirmation on the fact that they're not doing like a flip calendar thing. Like it's the 19, yeah, like the real boomer stuff right there. So we're not doing flip calendars this year. Hopefully that's good. Uh, you can just flip it over and use the poster, which is a lot better than having a calendar. Like, do you guys not have phones? <laughs> so speaking of calendars, here's the class art for the new class. So, thank you to the uh, guy on Discord, Emerald, uh, who saves all these images, because uh, sometimes I miss them. Usually I get them, but sometimes I miss them, and I appreciate that he, gra he grabbed the screenshot. Uh, looks pretty cool, and uh, yeah. And here is uh, Moglin. Well, looks looks like a lot like Master of Moglins, doesn't it? And they're adding Moglins to Hero Mart soon. Correlation? Perhaps. Perhaps. So if you missed out on Master of Moglins the first time, you don't want to pay over, it'll be over $100 now, over $100 US dollars. It was $100 on the Kickstarter. They said the price was going to increase uh, when it came to Hero Mart. So if you want to pay over $100 US dollars for a class, you'll get the chance soon on Hero Mart. Uh, calendar though, very excited for that. I will be picking it up and doing videos on it when it's out. So. That is all of the news we have for this week. A lot of cyber stuff, a lot of Black Friday stuff. We'll probably see more in the coming weeks in the lead up. Uh, Black Friday is at the very end of November. The last Friday of November, I think it's like the 28th, 29th. And then uh, Cyber Monday is the first few days of December, if you don't know when these uh, shops are going to come out. Uh, and Cyber Monday comes out at midnight. Uh, Black Friday will probably be on server reset on the Friday. So just if you haven't participated in a black friday or cyber monday before and you want to know the dates for that stuff that's when it comes out if you would like to support the channel battle breakers new game epic games same people that made fortnite those people uh they made a game it's mobile android ios pc if you use my creator code cory x when you sign up for the game when you start playing it, it's a free to play game and you beat the first three bosses i get three dollars one dollar per boss you beat so Cool. If you want to support the channel, you can do that. Link in the description. If not, that's fine. Anyway, guys, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. And we'll be live streaming the event tomorrow on this channel. Make sure you tune in for that around uh, 6 o'clock server time. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one next week. Bye-bye.